So, I had the distinct pleasure of watching all five live-action short films nominated for the 2018 Oscars. Mother was suspenseful and interesting, but it didn't really have much of a payoff. Fav had a very original concept, but I just don't think they did everything they could with it. Marguerite and Detainment both had serious topics, but since I've seen movies like them before, they didn't really grab me as much. Not to say that any of them were bad, but where those films fell short, skin came all the way through. I can never tell with the short film categories. Last year, DeKalb Elementary seemed to get all the predictions, but it went to The Silent Child. So I just predicted Skin would win just because it was my favorite. Well, it's probably not gonna... Skin! Guy in the teeth and Jamie Ray Newman. Sometimes respect pays off. Now, this short introduces us to a redneck-looking family. The first scene shows Jeff here shaving his kid Troy's hair, which is very common in skinhead groups. What's interesting, though, is that even though Jeff is a racist and he gets his kid into stuff kids shouldn't be getting into, he and his wife Krista do try to teach Troy responsibility and respect. Troy! Troy, put that thing down! Hey! Hey! What did I say? Okay. Hey, Troy! Listen to your mother, Troy, come up! <laughs> wow. What I tell you, this is the next generation. Yeah, well, when he uses it for real, just see wait, Jeff. And then we get this. <laughs> Were you fucking with my kid? Do we have a fucking problem, nigga? What? <laughs> You know what? What's that? You're my fucking problem. So yeah, Jeff and his gang beat up JD here, a black man, right in front of his wife and kid. And Troy and the kid Chani catch each other's eyes. Kind of feels like if I was identifying a poisonous snake, I really want to look for the color. The brighter the color, the more venomous maybe. Yes. Hmm. Now, obviously, since Jeff is teaching Troy the difference between poisonous and non-poisonous snakes, which we saw Troy playing with earlier, it can be inferred that he is planting in his son's head that people of color will poison them in whichever way possible. Can we go surfing? No. Why don't you finish your breakfast first? Okay. And then we can talk about it. And who's going to clean them up after? Yeah. We are. You are. Yeah. You are. I feel like these scenes where the parents are trying to teach Troy responsibility are important because even though they're racist and Jeff literally display violence in front of his kid, it shows they're still human beings. They never physically assault their child, which shows they do have an element of good in them, however small it may be. Now, if you don't know, director Guy Nativ is making a feature film called Skin, but it does not have the same plot or characters. But if it did, one thing I think should have been explored was how Chani here got involved in this criminal activity. We see a black gang kidnap Jeff in front of Troy with Chani accompanying them. Because of JD's playful nature with Troy, we can infer that he probably doesn't get involved in that stuff. So maybe some gang in the neighborhood heard of the beating and became to Chani what Jeff is to Troy. And then it comes to the unforgettable finale. Right now, Jeff is covered in black tattoo paint that he can't get off, and his mouth has been glued, and he's got to face his family, whom he has taught racism. You son of a bitch! You get the fuck out of my house right now! I will fucking kill you! I will kill you! Get out! Get out! I will fucking kill you, I swear! It's me. It's me. It's me. So there you have it. Jeff and Krista have just had their own methodology backfired against them. They realize now that if they keep showing black people hostility, the cycle of violence continues, and it will eventually destroy them. So maybe from this point forward, they will not use violence or abuse against people because of their appearance, and lead better, healthier lives as a family. Oh, oh, oh. 
Nope.